So after understanding what is a sale and what is an agreement to sale, rather agreement to sell, now let us understand what are the formalities in a contract of sale. So formalities are immediate delivery, second, immediate payment of price and delivery at a future date. I'll, I'll read these out first and then explain you. Third is immediate delivery and immediate payment of price. Fourth is delivery or payment or both in installments. So delivery or payment or both at some future date. Now what is happening here is you are making an immediate delivery. When the contract of sale is made, either you will make immediate delivery or you will make delivery at a future date. Now this is very simple to understand. Let's say you go you know, in a shop to purchase a TV. Now these are the different options that you will have when you purchase the TV. The seller will make immediate delivery. He will either give you the TV right away or the second option is you pay for the TV and he will deliver the TV let's say a day or two days after that day that is on a future date or the third is you pay the price there and then and you take the delivery there and then. So both the things are immediate delivery and payment both are immediate. The fourth is either the delivery is an installment or the payment is an installment. Now here the payment can be in installment. We have learned that electronics, cell phones, you know, cars, bikes. We have seen that these things are purchased in installment. That is the payment is done on monthly basis or on quarterly basis. So we call it an installment purchase. So payment is made in installment. At the same time, delivery can also be made in installment. However, you cannot deliver a TV in installment. You cannot deliver a car in installment. You cannot deliver a bike in installment. However, if the contract is about supply of wheat, so you have to supply, let's say, five quintals of wheat. So you supply five quintals in five installments. One quintal in one installment. Next day, you supply second quintal, third day third quintal so on and so forth so <clears throat> either both delivery and price payment can be immediate or both of them can be in installments and the final is either the delivery is on future date the payment of price is immediate or the payment of price is on future date the delivery is immediate or both are out or on a future date. So these things are quite possible. You know, you take the delivery on a future date, but pay the price on that. That will be called as the advance payment. That normally happens, you know, when you purchase electronics, you pay the price and take the delivery on a future date. Or many a times, what happens is, you get the delivery and you pay the price on a future date. That is what happens in credit you know, purchases. You get the delivery first and after a month or two you make the payment. Or this can be a case that both are done on a future date. Delivery is also done on a future date. Price is also paid on a future date. Let's say you do not have money right now and the shop, you know, seller does not have the goods right now. So you both agree that the delivery will happen when he has goods that is on a future date again the price will also be paid on a future date that is when you have the price so both will be done on a future date so now this is you know pretty easy to understand that delivery can be immediate or payment of price can be immediate delivery can be afterwards on a future date or both can be immediate price payment and delivery or both can be made in installment or one of them can be made in installment or one of them can be on a future date or both of them can be on a future date so this is 
uh, about this topic these are the formalities of contract of 